What to do, YouTube? Jabarkus Mayonnaise, Javi Mayo CD. We're back with Duran Gray Phalaris, and look, I, I gotta, I gotta say something before I jump into it. This past month or two has just been, it's not been my favorite, let's just say. It has not been my favorite month. You know, you, you, a lot of stuff has been making me kind of angry. Stuff that's, uh, well, it's not stuff that's, that's related to, uh, YouTube. It's stuff that's related to real life, like outside of YouTube stuff. Just, you know, so some people, some people, man, there's some people in this world. Some people in this world that, you know, they just, they, they just, they, they're not good people. I recently found out someone kind of screwed me over a little bit, let's just say. And, uh, it's made me pretty angry. Angry enough that I, I'm kind of like, yo, I need to be careful about what I do next. Because I don't want to, like, do something I shouldn't do. <laughs> I don't want to do something I shouldn't do. Uh, I don't know if that makes sense. I'm sure it makes sense to at least some of you guys. But, yeah. Um, so that's why, like, I, I just, I haven't been recording nothing. I haven't been editing and none of that stuff the stuff that i like to do i haven't been doing it because I've just been preoccupied with all this stuff and it's it's gotten to the point where it's like i just gotta get out man i gotta get out i gotta get out of the i gotta get out of where i'm at now all right i started considering options i i i even considered hey maybe i moved to japan i actually i mean i, I was considering that that's still it's still on the table it's still on the table but it is kind of expensive to do so um so I might have to settle for getting out of the city that I'm in. I, I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure, but it, like, it's just, yeah, you know, I gotta, you know, before I do something that I shouldn't do. <laughs> Anyways, despite that, you know, I, I have been missing this. I've been wanting to continue on with this album. I just, you know, this is something I had to deal with first. Um, so yeah, now we're, we're here. We're, we're back, basically. Um, oops. Utsutsu Boga Okurau. Utsutsu Boga Boga Okurau. I think that's what I think that's how to say it. Anyways, that's the next one. We're track number five. That's like are we halfway now. We almost have. I mean, eleven tracks. We're getting there. We're getting there. And I've got some other stuff I got to check out too. So yeah, excited to excited to check it out. So. Without further ado, let's do it. I really like this little intro thing they had here. That was pretty sick. Hold on, I want to play that again. <laughs> Interesting way to start it. Uh, and then this little this little thing here, it really reminds me of like the old stuff that they used to do. Crazy, crazy circus sort of, uh, you know, type thing happening, atmosphere. It reminds me of the old stuff a little bit. And I really like this, uh, this little thing they have here on the verse. Yeah, a little guitar going on. Like that.
a little bit of bass. <laughs> okay. Hey, <laughs> that was high. That was high. That's very high. Oh, that was very high. Jesus. Super high. <laughs> I, I kind of hit that. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> that was pretty good. Oh, I did. I, I mean, I think I did. I think I did pretty good right there. No, very old school song. Very. It's weird. It's kind of like um. It's like, it's like if you took gauze, but recorded it when they were doing arch. That's kind of what it's. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting here. Y'all, y'all, y'all get that vibe? Am, am I bugging? I might be bugging, but that's kind of what I get. It's kind of like that sort of disjointed feeling that Gauls tracks have, especially. Like the, the stop and starting stuff. They did that a lot with Gauze. Is this the Gauze track? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, I don't think it is. Okay. So, yeah, apparently it's not. Anyways, I just kind of got that feeling of one. So, well, that's what I thought. I was like, this doesn't sound familiar, but it sounds familiar. Hold on. Oh, there's a little, little secrecy, a little secrecy in the air. He's plotting something. He's plotting. The moment of genius. The other part, he's like, he's, he's explaining his master plan. He's like, it's so obvious. That's kind of what I'm picturing in my head. Like this guy sort of explaining his manifesto or his ideas. And it's just like, it just makes so much sense to him. And he's just like, yeah, man, it's totally like this. I cannot believe nobody else can see it the way I do. <laughs> That's kind of this sort of like the vibe I'm getting here. I could be way off. But it's like, yeah, I'm crafting narratives in my head. I'm crafting, <laughs> I must be really far gone. <laughs> Really like all the instruments happening now. We're gonna get another solo? started flickering. Okay. 
Okay. Interesting. Okay. So, one thing that I really like so far with this album is how punchy the drums are, man. Like, the drums just sound so thick. They just sound so thick, bro. They just, they, they, mmm. The drums, I don't know what, I don't know what they're doing with the drums, but I like it. I like it. I know it's not, I don't think it's the technique. I think it's the, the mixing. I think there's something with the mixing and the mastering and the, and the whatnots. It, it, it sounds really nice. I really like the way the drums sound a lot. Very, like I said, it was very old style Duran Gray, where we're kind of like a lot of back and forth going on, like a lot of call and response happening, right? You know, we're going left and right, but up and down, right? And, uh, and interestingly, there was only, the chorus only played twice. So it's, it's very kind of like, um, it's not following any sort of, uh, it's not following like a, uh, you know, a template. You know what I mean? Like it's very, it is very much a new song from what I can tell. There's not, there's not really anything that they're kind of going. But we didn't get a guitar solo. We, we missed that. All the other songs had guitar solos, and I like that. If I remember right, I'm pretty sure they all had guitar solos. This one didn't. I, I did like where I did like that that we were having guitar solos in, in all, most of the songs. But okay, hopefully the next one has them. <laughs> it's not a big deal. I mean, like Darren Gray is not a guitar solo band. They're not a shredding band or whatever. I just thought it was a nice addition. Um, but this song still sounded interesting, very cool. Um, I really like. You guys, you guys are probably tired of hearing me talking about gauze, and I never talk about stuff like macabre and stuff like, or like, uh, uh what was it Kiso or whatever? Not the biggest fan of those albums, um, but I did like gauze a lot, so that's the one I keep going back to. Um, I, I do like stuff from those albums, but I, it's just overall, uh, was it, it wasn't Kiso, was it Kigan? I, I can't remember. I can't remember the name of the album. Can't remember the name of the album. But it, it, anyways, I, I do like some stuff from them, but they weren't my favorite albums. Uh, but I really like Gauze a lot, and I don't know why. There's just something about it. Um, you know, it could be, you know, obviously a lot of people really like Cage, but that's not the that's not the song that got me in. That's not the song that I really love about that album. I really actually like, um, what's the one where he's like, show, lie, mad, sexual. One said sexually, two said sexually. I like that one. I like that one. That one just... <laughs> I always get into like a groove with that one. I like that one a lot. But yeah, anyways, uh, so I'm kind of getting those sort of feelings, especially actually kind of that song. Was that Sumitobatsu? Is that what the song was called? I can't remember it, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, kind of getting sort of like that. Do 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 do. You know, the 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 especially like the the riffs that were happening. That's why I kept having like, I was like, man, this is familiar in different ways. Because like I said, it's got like the same sort of structure-ish kind of feelings of gauze, right? But it's got the the next levelness of Arch, which is like probably a perfect album almost. Um, you know, you got you got a problem with it, you can fight me, but that's, that's a really, really good album. Um, but it's got it's got that like it's got that next level element that Arch had, you know that that really was like wow. Whenever I heard that that album, I was like wow. You know, maybe Doom Sparrow Sparrow. That one's <laughs> that one's got a special place for me. I like that one a lot. Um, but yeah, it had like that next levelness of it. Hmm. 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 Something about it. Something about it. Anyways. Check out them lyrics. I, got, I gotta get. I gotta get the lyrics. Gotta put the headphone headphones on so you don't look at my ears. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Come on, guys. But really. Okay. It's a tuboga wo kurau. Uh, not the same heart, not the same words, but aren't we the same human? The end is all the same, right? So we're not, we're not so different, you and I. We may not say the same things. 
we may not pump the same blood, but we're the same species. And the end is the same. We all die. We all die one day. Crying without a clue, just being manipulated. Unable to exchange the meaning of words, the brutal light shone. Crying without a clue. You're crying, but you don't know why. You don't know. You don't understand your, you know, your thoughts, your ideas are not actually your own, right? Unable to exchange the meaning of words. You can't say what you want to say. You think that you can, but then the brutal light shone. The brutal light shone. It showed the light shows what was hidden. The light shows, reveals what was in the shadows. Not the same heart, not the same words, but we are the same. Aren't we the same human? The end is all the same. Devouring the reality, the laughing eyes, not the same soul. Devouring the reality, the laughing eyes. Devouring the reality. So this, maybe it's not actually the reality. Maybe it's the fiction that you think is the reality. And they're laughing. They're just laughing. They're like, how could you be so stupid? Not the same soul. We don't, we don't feel the same. I'm up here. I'm looking down on you. Laughing at you. Being stupid won't change, but I don't want to regret it anymore, so I have decided. The once broken heart leeches on, reeking like the gooey melted cheese. Okay. And it won't let go of anything, getting uglier and uglier to the human evolution. Okay, so this is the part where I thought it was he was talking about like a master plan, but this doesn't sound like a master plan. Um, being stupid won't change. But I don't want to regret it anymore. So, you know, doing these stupid things that I, that I want to do, it's not going to change anything, but I want to, I, I want to say that I did it. So I decided, I decided the once broken heart leeches on, you know, my, you know, I'm, I'm committing. And I, and it, like, it's reeking like the gooey melted cheese. So I stank. You know, I'm committed and I'm stinky. <laughs> and it won't let go of anything. You ever try to get cheese, melted cheese off of a, off of bread without taking something with it? Getting uglier and uglier to the human ev evolution. Oh, I, I don't know. That one's about, that one's, yeah. yeah. Anyways. Devouring the reality, the laughing eyes, not the same soul. Why is that in mind? Huh. It's a really deep song. It's so deep that I have absolutely no idea what he's talking about. It. <laughs> why does it sound like two different? It sounds like two different entities in this song. One pleading. Pleading for the humanity and, and the other one. You know, we're, aren't we the same human? The end is all the same. We're not the same heart, not the same words, but we're the same, same human, right? The other one is revealing the illusion that the first one is living. Kind of. That's what it seems like. It could be like a split personality thing. Because we're saying we're, but we're the same human, right? We're not the same mind, not the same heart. We're the same human. Maybe it's like a split personality type thing, where, you know, each personality, you know, one of them is, is sort of like the mastermind, kind of controlling the stuff. The other one's kind of just uh, thinks he's in control, but he's not. Could be something like that, or it could be like, you know, like a more sinister sort of like, you know. Type of secret organization or 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 entity in the in the world. I don't know. It's 
kind of worried. It's, it's def there's definitely some craziness though. So I'm kind of like, I'm kind of wanting to go with like the split personality thing. Cause like this song is kind of all over the place in a good way, in a good way. Not that split personalities are a good thing, but you know, in a good way, this song is. That's why I was saying there was like a call and response happening. So maybe it could be that the two, the two personalities are finally conversing. Could be. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all think in the in the comments below. Let me know what y'all think. I'm a, you know what? I'm gonna keep working on my goal. I kind of lost lost the momentum. I you know I had some momentum going, like a train. The train was chugging along, and then I kind of lost momentum because of all the stuff that happened. And I wasn't making videos and this and that. But I, I feel the times they are a changing. I may be moving soon. Trying to stay positive. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. I think. I think I I think I think we will be back to a regularly scheduled thing soon. Maybe not immediately, because if we do move, I'm gonna have to do the packing and the moving and all that stuff that I hate to do. But we'll do what we gotta do. Um and hey. I'll still, I'm still, I'm still, hey, I'll still put it out there, man. That 10,000 subs, I, you know, Japanese is being learned by me fluently. I don't think it's going to happen, especially not now because of all the lost momentum. But, um, just, you know, I will put that out there, the possibility. I'm still down with it. So we'll see what happens with that. Anyway, like and subscribe. And, uh, yeah. Uh, let me know what y'all think of this song. I enjoyed it as usual so far. Um, I've liked all the songs on this album. I, I don't know why some people say, were saying they were disappointed. I've loved, I've really liked all the songs on the album so far. Like, re I like this album more than, more than Insulated World. And I really liked Insulated World. So, yeah, we're, we're only halfway through it too. So, I don't know. There's just, it was very unique. Very, a very interesting album so far. Um, but yeah. I'll be back for track number six. Um, track number six is called, what is it called? It is, what is happening with this? There we go. That's almost happening with my light. Anyways, um, track number six is called Ochita Koto no Arusora. We'll see, we'll see what, what that one's, what's up with that one in the next video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys then. See ya.